Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. Today I want to do a fun video and choose my favorite bag out of each of the brands that I have. So stay tuned to see what my favorites are. Remind me of 12th grade, remind me of young shade, feel like a new shoe, remind me of old games, taste like an ice cold, taste like a mango, feel like some new socks, taste like an angel, she look like a Badu, wrote her a haiku, want me to want her bad. Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. For those of you who are new, my name is Lakia Chanel, and I make videos about all things handbags, both luxury and contemporary, because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. So welcome, welcome, welcome if you're new. Thank you so much for those who've been riding with me for the past, I don't know, six months, a year that I've been doing this. Um, I wanted to come on today to do a fun little video. I feel like I've seen, maybe this was a tag at some point. I honestly don't know, but I thought it would be really cool to go through all of the different brands of bags that I have and select kind of my one favorite bag that I love out of that particular uh, brand. So here goes. They're not going to be in any type of order. I have rearranged my handbags to make my life a little bit easier and I actually have them coded according to brand. Yay me. Uh -huh. So um I will go over kind of all of the brands, why I like it, and why this is number one compared to the other ones in my collection. So my first bag is going to be from my Chanel collection, and it's very odd because Chanel actually has my Holy Grail bag that I was able to get this year, but I am saying that this is the bag that I cannot kind of do without out of that collection because this is literally my most worn bag out of all of the six Chanel bags that I have. This is the bag that I wear the most. It goes with everything. This is kind of a year-round piece for me, so it is going to have to be my Chanel Classic in white with the gold hardware. I have tons of videos, I'm sure, on this bag already, so I won't take up too much time talking about it, but I love her, and um, she is my number one bag out of my Chanel collection, which I am honestly kind of shocking myself as I am saying that out loud, but she won. Out of my YSL collection, I have two YSL bags. I have the medium size Lulu Puffer, and then I have this uh, Lulu, I think it's called a Lulu, Mini Lulu. I'm sorry, I'm having a brain fart. I'll put it down below. Y'all know when I got this bag, I wore this consistently. Like, I love this bag. This is my grab and go. Goes with everything because it's kind of got that beige and gold situation, which matches pretty much everything in my collection. And I will just have to say that, like, out of the two bags where I love the medium size puffer bag, this one is the winner when it comes to YSL in my collection. I have two Bottega bags in my collection right now. Guys, um, if you did not know, I decided to keep the green um, Bottega tote bag that I got from Nordstrom. Out of the two bags, I would say that this one is the, I like the, and can I just say that I love all of my bags, okay? So this was kind of a little bit difficult, but not super difficult. This one wins because I've had her longer and I've worn her more. And I feel like I have the ability to wear her more. The, um, this is the uh, cassette uh, bag. I don't, it's maybe called a puffy cassette. Oh my gosh. Quilted cassette. Don't trust me. It's down here. But I love this bag. I was so excited to be able to add this bag to my collection. It does not fit a ton, but it fits kind of like your most basic essentials possible. Um, but it is like a really great bag. And I chose this one over the tote bag because just, you know, with my style and kind of my life and how I roll, I would much... Um, faster reach for a crossbody smaller bag than a large tote so you want boo when it comes to Louis Vuitton I have I think five or six Louis Vuitton bags this is the one that I kind of love the most out of all the bags and probably because it's so different and it is a part of a collection that's no longer available and I felt like so lucky to be able to get this bag in the most amazing condition. Um, this I got from Fashion File and I think at the time, I wanna say I paid $1,300 for this bag. This was made in and around either 2013 or 2015. I'll put the right date below. And this is part of the Totem Collection. So I feel like this is like my prettiest like Louis Vuitton bag that I have. All the other bags are like Speedies, which are obviously great. Um, my Duomo and then I have like a couple of like smaller smaller bags of clutch 
um, but this one I think just because of the rareness of the bag and how it is so different and kind of carries its own I always get compliments on this bag like this would be the one that I would have to say is like my favorite like Louis Vuitton bag not my most worn Louis Vuitton bag but definitely my favorite this is kind of not fair because I only have one Valentino bag, but I'm adding because I actually love this bag. Like it went from again deciding whether I was going to keep it or not to now it being kind of maybe a staple in my handbag collection. Like I love this bag. I love the style of this bag and I definitely look forward to getting um, more uh, Roman stud bags from uh, Valentino, but this is great and it wins just because it is the only one but also it wins because it's actually a great only Valentino bag so love this the next two brands are kind of the same I only have one of the bags so this is my Gucci super mini Marmont this is like one of my first ever luxury bags and I think I got this maybe two years ago and my husband bought it for my birthday for Christmas for anniversary I don't know so I love this bag at one point this was my everyday bag I was wearing her every single day um, and she is in really great condition um, one thing I will tell you about this super mini Marmont bag is even though it's like really small it kind of fits a lot of stuff I haven't worn her um, as much lately um, but this is my only Gucci bag and it's also the only red bag that I have in my collection as well that was just a fun fact um, but I, I do like this bag and I, I'm looking forward to using it more this is kind of like a cute little hey I want to be cute I want to have a little logo on but I'm not trying to do too much this is her love her and I will never ever give her up because my husband bought it for me Fendi I only have one Fendi bag and this is um, I would consider this a vintage Fendi at this point. I will put down what this is called if I can find it and I'll put down the year that it was made. This is a bag that I bought pre-loved. I got this from The Real Real I believe and I want to say I paid 400 bucks for it. Under five for sure. Um, I wore this bag a lot when I first got it. This also was one of my first uh, luxury bags that I got um, a couple, three years ago, and I wore this a lot. I do still like this bag, and I still break her out every once in a while. I want to change the, I really hate the handle on this bag. It's definitely older, so I think what I am going to do is... My husband told me not to, but I'm going to. I think I'm going to cut off this current handle, and then I'm going to purchase like a new Fendi, um, a detachable Fendi uh, strap, so that I can wear this because I actually love this. Like I love this kind of print and this style um, from Fendi. I know they have a whole bunch of like amazing new bags out right now that are really great, um, but I still do love this this bag. So I feel like once I get that new strap, I will be wearing her all the time. MCM. I am going to hands down say that this is the number one bag in my MCM collection. Um, it's it's one of the newer, but they're all one of the newer bags for MCM. So this, I think I have two MCM totes. I have a cylinder bag from them. I have this bag. And then I have like two other bags. Oh, I have another backpack and then I have a little small bag from them. But this is the one by far that I carry the most. You guys know I've talked about this bag a bunch of times on this channel. It's just awesome. Like I'm always kind of reaching for this bag because it's so easy. And it's it's just so easy and it fits everything that you need. So I love this. This is definitely number one out of my MCM collection. Now we're going to get into the contemporary side of things, okay? Because I cannot leave contemporary out, guys. It's all about luxury and contemporary. They all have, like, great pieces. So this is going to be a little bit harder, I feel like, because I feel like I use my contemporary bags a lot. And they're especially, guys, you know, my coach. So picking out one coach bag is, like, really hard. So I will choose this uh, for the Strathberry bag. I have two Strathberry bags. I have the midi tote, which is a kind of larger tote. And then I have this. It's a McNano, I think it's called. This is so cute. I remember when I got this bag, I didn't necessarily love it. My husband was like obsessed with it. And as I wore it more, I was like, this is so freaking everything. I've had this bag for a couple of years. And it is like, it's so great. Like it is, I just love it because it's like so different than anything else that I have in my collection. And she says a lot. 
I mean, she says a whole lot. And she's a great crossbody, and she does fit a decent amount of things. So she is awesome, and she is going to be my number one Strathberry bag in my collection. I'm not going to go over all of the different um, contemporary bags that I have, all the different brands, because some are just random one-offs. But I will give a mention to this Brandon Blackwood. Um, this is the only um, Brandon Blackwood bag I have. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but I love the shape. I love the craftsmanship of the bag, and um, he deserves a mention because he cute. He's so cute, okay? So, Tory Burch is next. I think I have about six or so, six or seven Tory Burch bags, and it is a hard toss-up between the tote that I have that you guys have seen. I will put a picture somewhere here so you guys can see it. Um, and this crossbody camera bag. Um, I have two of these crossbody camera bags. One is in um, kind of a matte pink, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then the other one is this one in this metallic gold. I wear this all the time. Like when I went to LA, this was my day and my night bag. Like she worked perfectly. And all I did was switch up the chain. I made a gold chain. I had a gold chain that I got from Amazon boom she was a night out bag and then her gold metallic strap was my day bag so this bag is so great and it fits literally everything that you needed to fit it's actually even though it's small it's a great size bag so it was a hard toss up between that and the tote but I am I really do love this bag and I feel like my last is it's hard because it's a toss up between three bags um, and you guys decide. How about that? I cannot. It's a toss up between three bags from Coach. I have like, I don't know, like 20 or so Coach bags at this point. And I, it's too hard to whittle down to one. So I'm going to have three. Um, they're all going to be equalized. But you guys let me know what your favorite is out of the three. The first is going to be my pillow tabby in the size 18. Y'all know I just got this bag, but I am so obsessed with this bag. Like, I love this bag so much. It is so cute. I feel like it is a new staple in my collection, and it definitely makes me want to get the larger one. Um, this is just absolutely fantastic. So this is definitely one of the ones, even though she's new, she's trendy, but she's also cute and she's basic too. So you can change up the strap. I feel like she's going to be a piece that can kind of have a little bit of longevity um at least in my collection so i have to say that she is one of my favorite bags in my collection <sighs> the next i could not do this video without doing uh without mentioning this bag like i love this bag this is the rogue 25 if you guys have seen my videos you know that i got this for free and this is i have four rogues and this one is my favorite rogue. It is just so beautiful. It has the elephants on it. It's embroidered like, oh, it's, this thing is so freaking gorgeous. And by y'all, by the way, y'all, it's still on sale, um, at coach for $455 if you are interested in it. Um, but this thing is just so well made and it is so beautiful. And whether I wear it for the rest of my life or not, I feel like this is going to be like a forever piece in my collection. Um, if nothing more than just to look at it. But I actually do use this and wear this a lot because she is too cute not to. Lastly is this big beast. Um, I am having a brain fart right now. I cannot remember what this bag is called. I will put it down below. Um, this bag is everything like this is the perfect travel bag i have used this bag so much before i got my tory birch um tote bag this was the bag that i was using like when i went to see my family um uh, i was using this bag whenever i would travel anywhere and so i got the tory birch bag just to give this one a break because i was using her to death which that these bags are to be used but also i did want to kind of retain you know some greatness like there's a little bit of corner wear here from where um you know the leather has kind of scratched a little bit a little bit of corner wear here otherwise this is like in really perfect condition and again these bags that i use for traveling stuff like i'm not here to be like super careful with these bags they're going on the floor they're going wherever they need to go because they are legit travel bags so she's doing what she is supposed to be doing and she is so great 
I had to add her to like one of my favorites because I feel like without her there would have been a period of time where I just did not have a travel bag or I would have had to like bust out a whole entire suitcase which everybody has time to be doing that all the time right this was just perfect I love this bag so much oh it's called the field tote 40 love this bag if you guys see it they have so many of these on the website not for this particular uh you know patches and colorway but they do have this size bag it comes with a strap which is a nice kind of i don't know canvas cotton strap is very soft and it's really good because i definitely like pack this thing to the max like if i'm traveling i use this as my carry-on and i'm gonna pack like six six outfits up in here yes i am um and this is like such a great bag like oh this is one of the bags that i just do not i don't regret buying any of my bags but this is one that is definitely like a keeper that i plan on having full elbow okay so that's that those are my favorite bags um from each brand within my collection um i love all of my bags but having to like choose is so fun that's why this channel is so fun and youtube is so fun because it makes you kind of do things that you normally wouldn't do so i had so much fun kind of deciding which ones were the bags that were kind of like my favorite out of each brand um and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well you guys already know that i want to know your favorite bags um and maybe they're not specifically your favorite bags of all, but they are just your favorite bags out of the brands that you have. Like, which ones are you using the most? Which ones do you love to look at the most? Because sometimes a bag can win just because you like looking at her the most, okay? I want you guys to comment below. Let me know what you enjoy. Are there any of the bags that I showed that you enjoyed? You guys know a little bit about my collection. Are there any bags that you thought would be on this list that are not on this list? I would love to have all of your comments below. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Um, also, go ahead, follow me on Instagram. I'm usually styling my bags there. Um, and thank you guys again for staying to the end of this video. I feel like this was a very long-winded video, but I appreciate it. Um, and I will see you guys next Saturday at 1. <laughs>